In this video, I'm going to show you how match coverage works against gun tray open. Now, really, more in particularly, how palms coverage um, is going to work against gun tray open. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. Now, in this series, we're talking a little bit about how I like to run palms against pretty much any formation in the game. And I've actually been kind of just honestly picking random formations. Random formations, I really don't know how the rules work, but I have enough understanding of palms and the way palms uh, likes to work against most formations that we kind of craft a defense together. And so, uh, again, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you want to see the finalized format or the finished format and the really uh, in-depth ebook that I've done on this defense, then I would really encourage you to join my Patreon. My Patreon membership is just 10 bucks a month, and that is going to get you access to every Madden 22 ebook that I have. So far, we have 13 ebooks, and we have more ebooks that are on the way. So what we're going to do here is just come out in the palms coverage, and we're going to be defending gun tray open now tray open i would argue actually is one of the more underrated offensive schemes in the game and just because of the spacing that you have um, on the field i think it's actually relatively effective and fairly decent uh spacing so uh, with that in mind i i think you're going to find that this is a very difficult formation to guard if the player that's running it knows exactly what they're doing because they can flood you on both sides they can um, use motion snap to create spread there's a lot of things that they can do from this but i want to show you the basic premise of how our defense is going to play whenever we face a trips uh, open type of look or tray open type of look so uh, what we're going to get here is we're going to get what's called a special check out of palms and why this is so effective is because what we're going to do is basically free up this guy right here mccordy and we're really going to kind of honestly get somewhat of a solo check on the back end of this in the sense of we're going to basically man lock on number one on the left which is evans and then the back we're going to kind of take and work him into our quarter flat three rec and quarter flat defense and really if the bat goes vertical that quarter flat will take him man to man but if the bat goes underneath and say he runs like an in route or a drag route uh, or um, a, an in route type thing then he might pass him to the three rec defender if there's another one coming back across so this defense really works well against these kind of formations so uh, anyways from an adjustments perspective what do I like to do uh, from an adjustment perspective I love to press out of this defense the reason why especially out of palms is because we're basically going to play man lock on the outside outside receivers in this so what i like to do is just man them up uh, i don't need the defense to do it for me i'm going to go ahead and just man lock on the outside and so really what we now have if you think about it is we have a two uh we have a five on three kind of matchup now that we need to be able to defend and what's going to happen is if number two goes vertical which is scotty miller here this quarter flat defender is actually going to take him in man-to-man -man coverage so if he runs a corner route he's going to take him if he runs a post route, he's going to take him if he runs a vertical seam he's going to take him which now makes phillips responsible for the tight end uh, or the 87 right there that third slot or that number three receiver and now with my user i can come down in here and play a lot of really good stuff now what i personally really like to do um and really the only thing that is going to give us a ton of trouble is the running back in route to me is the biggest thing they can do from this that's going to give us a trouble so like if you get a four verticals call and then you run a running back underneath that i just want you to watch how the coverage is going to play we're not going to make any adjustments here but what you're going to see is you're going to get man lock across the board but now this running back's got some decent leverage to be able to outflank that three wreck and now he's off to the races so the way that i because that because that quarter flat has is so pivotal uh to, to rising up with the defense what i like to do in terms of defending this in in my favorite adjustment uh from this is i like to take this guy right here hightower and put him on a flat all right i trust phillips i trust jones to play their assignments well okay but i need him to take that running back away and then what we're going to do underneath is we're going to put a QB spy to the running back side, and then we're going to put a three rec hook defender right there. So you see, this is what the defense really looks like, and you have to learn how to trust your coverage, and you have to learn what you need to cover and what you don't. The rules of this coverage tell you that your primary relationship is with that number three receiver. If that number three receiver goes to the corner, my recommendation would be, would be to go cover him, and here's why. Because you might get a route combo that basically looks like this, and I'll just tell you from personal experience, 
that if you open here, look, you'll see he'll play fine, but he could use some help, especially if that's a good receiver. He could use some help, especially um, if you're playing like a trips tight end type of look. Okay. Um, the, the interesting part is that the rules against Trey open and the rules against trips tight end are actually fairly similar. Um, and really the biggest thing is something like this little running back quick out, little, little backside dig. That's a pretty good concept in this offense. Um, just because of your because of how the quarter flats are going to play. So what you could also do is you could do two hard flats, the middle backers, right? And then you could have a spy, a three rec, and then of course you man lock on the outside. So you got something that looks kind of like this. All right. Now you've definitely you haven't really adapted that much of the coverage. But what you've tried to do is say you can't throw underneath to your running back in this formation. You're going to have to do some kind of uh, seam wheel concept, which now allows me the flexibility to say I can come over here and play this. I can go over here and play this if I need to because there's nothing else that I need to cover. Okay, there's nothing else that I need to cover. So situations where they're going to be running that little seam wheel would be if they flooded the right side of the field. So it might look something to the extent like this. If you get a flood concept on the backside here, like I said, you don't have to man these guys up. The game's going to do it for you. But I think you get better coverage if you go ahead and just man lock them. And then, like I said, you could go underneath with these two guys. And now really what this is is almost like a box in one zone on the number three. Everything else is pretty much covered across the board. And really what you're doing here is you're opening and trying to take that number three receiver away. But as you see, if you got a good safety out there that can play that, he's going to make some plays for you in this coverage. Now, the most important route that you have to be ready to defend, in my opinion, in the gun tray open would be this route combination right here. I think that this route combination right here is probably the most difficult route combination to defend in this formation because of the fact and how effective a running back out route is. So if you take a look here, what we've got is we've got our number one. He's going to go run off the, the zone. We've got the, the back on the out that's going to stress the, that quarter flat. And then on the back side, we got a dig and a flat and then a, and then a vertical. So we're in a situation now where we've got, you know, again, a pretty decent little concept. Uh, but your primary job is to take X. And if they can take X man to man, then you could come back down and play in the middle of the field if you want to. Okay, uh, you can certainly do that if you have the numbers advantage, if you have everything that you need uh, from a, from that perspective. Okay, but basically, like I said, you don't have to man lock. If you want to just make your adjustments look like this, that's fine. If you want a little bit more middle of the field robber type of help, take high tower right here and just pop him into uh, like a hook curl or a mid read or even a curl flat for that matter would be fine. And and now what you're going to get is you're going to get a little bit more middle of the field cover a little bit better coverage on those digs um, you know that's something else again as we talked about Trey open how if we have someone in the middle of the field now like let's say we have a three wreck and we have a QB spy and we have a, a mid read right and then we have those that that hard flat to that backside or in this example we just man lock it all together so it looks something like this now we really got a leverage uh, or a, a significant advantage on that number three. And this is just a great way to defend out of this tray open um, because you're going to take away what they do best. And that, that's what's so good about this defense. And uh, that's why I think it's the best defense in the game. So I want to thank you for watching this formation video. If you want to take a look at more in-depth Palms defenses and just more in-depth defensive tips and, and even offensive guides in general, join the Patreon. It's just 10 bucks a month. You're going to get access to everything by joining the Patreon. And it's just a great place, in my opinion, to get better, get more consistent offensively and defensively. Uh, I just I just think that it's the best place to get better. It's only 10 bucks a month, and you get so much for that. You get so many ebooks, so many breakdowns a week. Like you just get so much that it's hard to stay the same. As long as you're watching the videos and putting the, the, the resources into practice you're going to find that you're going to significantly improve your game. So thanks for watching the video. And if you want to join the Patreon, head on down to the description below and click that link and it'll take you right over to the website.